Hello everybody. In this video we're going to be looking at interpreting qualitative graphs. So if we're going to do that we better know what a qualitative graph is. So a qualitative graph and qualitative data more generally is simply data that does not depend on numbers. Now the opposite of that uh, data that does depend on numbers is known as quantitative data. So if you look at the graph there on your screen it does contain numbers so there is quantitative data inside of this graph however we're not going to be interested so much in the numbers as opposed to the non-numerical things that the graph can tell us. Essentially we're looking for the story that the graph tells and that qualitative data is sort of what tells us the story. So let's for this graph that we have right here know the story. This is the story of me trying to walk from my office to my classroom and here's what goes down. First I leave my office and I travel from my office down the hallway. That's represented by that part of the line that you see highlighted. Then I get stopped and enter in a conversation with somebody because I, I never go down the hallway without ending up talking to somebody. It's just the rule, right? And so after I talk with that person I realize that I'm very nearly going to be late for my class. So then I walk more quickly toward my classroom, now represented by this line. But as I get close to the door, I realize I've forgotten something important in my office. So I turn around and I walk more quickly back toward my office. When I'm in there, I stop for just a moment to grab what I need. And then I sprint down the hallway as fast as I can to get to my class before it starts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and we're going to look through all these different parts and see how the shape of the graph can tell us what's going on in the story. So the first thing we have to do is we have to check what are called the axes. The labels on an axis will tell you what variables are involved in our story. That is what things we are comparing. So for this one we would look at the x-axis in which we see that that is measuring the amount of time that is passed in seconds. So as we go farther along the x-axis, more time has passed. We also need to look at the label on the y-axis. That'll tell us what's going on there. And we see that that's the distance from my office in meters. So it's how far away I am. So as we go left to right, we're talking about how much time has passed. And as the graph goes up and down, it's referencing how far away I am from my office. The other thing that allows us to investigate this is the steepness of the line. As the line gets more steep, that y value, in this case distance from the office, is changing more quickly. So the steeper the line, the faster the y value is changing. Now in particular this gets interesting when the x-axis represents time and the y-axis represents distance because distance over time is simply speed. So if you see a graph with distance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis, the steepness of the line represents the speed of the object. So knowing that we can now go back to the story of me walking down the hallway and we can look at these different parts. When I first start out, I'm walking at a normal speed. And then when I stop moving, my distance from the office isn't changing because I'm not moving away from it or towards it. I'm staying the same distance. So that constant interval right there represents me being stopped. And then when I start to move more quickly toward uh, or away from my office rather toward my classroom you can see that the line is now more steep than the line when I originally set out. This indicates that I'm walking more quickly. Notice too our increasing intervals right there and right there show that my distance from the office is increasing. I'm moving away from my office. Here we see an interval that is decreasing if the distance from my office is decreasing, I'm walking toward it. And we can see that its steepness is the same as this steepness. So where I'm walking quickly right here, I'm walking just as quickly, but in the opposite direction. 
Here again, we see a place where I've stopped. My distance isn't changing. I'm in my office at this point. And then we can see from this last line where the line is very, very steep. That means that I am moving very, very quickly. Again, the more steep the line, and it doesn't matter if it's going up or down, increasing or decreasing intervals, the more steep the line, the more quickly the Y value, distance in this case, is changing. So always check your axes, find out what two things we're measuring, and remember that the steepness of the line indicates how quickly the y value is changing, and if it is flat, that is horizontal, a constant interval, then we know that y value is not changing at all. And in particular, if we have distance over time, remember, that's just speed.